Hello, we're doing chapter 9, section 2. I'm doing the guided practice problems that are on page 603 and 604. I forget when it switches over to 604, but that doesn't matter. Okay. In these problems, we are going to find the axis of symmetry from the expression that represents the function. So if you remember, if I write y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, then the axis of symmetry is x equals b divided by negative 2 times a. Always, always, always write the axis of symmetry x equals. It's not a number. It's a line, and lines have equations. All right, so my a is 1. Notice I switched and I wrote an arrow here, okay? My a is 1, and my b is going to be 4 because of the equal sign. It's a little confusing. So my axis of symmetry is going to be x equals b divided by negative 2 times a. You can certainly do this in your head. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. I'll go ahead and write it. And 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. So you have to tell me x equals negative 2. Put a box around that so you see it. Problem number 10. My a is going to be 3 and my b is negative 18. So I have b, negative 18, divided by negative 2 times my a, which is 3. Take care of the bottom first. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And negative 18 divided by negative 6, a negative divided by negative is a positive. 18 divided by 6 is 3. So I write x equals 3. For problem number 11, I get 2 for my a, and my b is 3. And of course, notice I'm leaving off the c, the negative 7, the 1, the negative 4. doesn't matter. So my axis symmetry is 3 divided by negative 2 times 2. This is 3 over negative 4. And you can leave it like that. You don't have to change it to a decimal. My axis of symmetry is x equals negative 3 fourths. And finally, my a is negative 3, my b is 1. So I get 1 over negative 2 times negative 3. That's going to be 1 over positive 6. So my axis of symmetry is x equals 1 6. And please make sure that you have to write, you have to use x equals, whatever the x equals that you get. Okay, we'll see you in the next video.